<laughs> Good morning. It's Monday and we're Good back. Morning. We are Good back. morning. Hi, Mom Nation. We were not here last week because it was a holiday. I um, know. Fourth of July. Here. Yes. Happy fourth. Happy, happy July, everyone. Jeez. I know. Can you believe it? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for those of you who don't know, we are Katie and Dana. We are with Team Evo AZ at EXP Realty. We are here typically every Monday morning at 10, unless it's a holiday. Um, and we are talking about resale neighborhoods across the valley. So it could be north, could be south, could be east, could be west. We never know where we're going to be, except for Dana always knows. And we're just talking about What's going on in the areas around these neighborhoods, the specifics, uh, the history, the amenities, the housing, what's available, the price points, blah, 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 blah. We're going all through it all and <laughs> all the things. And today we are in Levine. Yeah, you guys, we're going to go to Levine Meadows. And I wanted to spotlight some neighborhoods down there just with the development of the Loop 202 and how like much growth this area has seen. Yeah. Um, and that 202 is pretty awesome. So I live in Ahwatukee, as you know, and I can hop over to Levine Lickety Split just like that. It's pretty nice. Um, and I don't know how many people have really like caught on to the fact that we have that freeway that connects yet because it's still pretty, I mean, it's not super trafficy every, every time I've been on it anyway. No, I know. So Levine Meadows, you guys, 85339 is the zip code. And of course, we always like to start with a little history. And Levine was first settled by farmers and dairymen in 1884. <laughs> and uh, yep. And then in the early 1900s, Walter E. Levine and his family homesteaded an area encompassing all four corners of present day 51st Avenue and Dobson Road. And this is where they built their first general store. And they also had a second general store, Del Monte Market, which was built in 1908 on 27th Avenue in Dobson. And it is still considered the oldest um, standing store in Arizona. So really? Was, yes. And so, the whole state. That's cool. That's what um, this website that I'm going to share with you right now, a trip to the oldest grocery store in Arizona is like stepping back in time. So this is in Levine, which I thought was really cool. It is. So Del Monte Market established in 1908, you guys. So check it out <laughs> if you're driving through Levine off the 202. But let me show you where this neighborhood is located. So like I said, this whole new um, extension of the 202 was completed in December of 2019, I think, right, Katie? Um, yeah, it's not which, been long. Which, like you were saying, here's Awatuki. You can zip around and get over to Chandler, Gilbert, out east so easily. And then also um, up to 10 and over out west as well. So really, really convenient. Um, Sky Harbor is only 15 miles from here. So it does make it very easy to get to now where it used to not be that way. It was quite a trek. So <laughs> true. Get... You have to go through the city, which was, yeah, depending yeah. on the time, who wants to do that, <laughs> you know. Right? So this neighborhood here, um, again, just east of the 202 um, is Levine Meadows. And there are seven homes for resale in this neighborhood. Nice. Good price points. Really good price points. And I thought with, you know, everything changing in the market and a lot of, you know, first time home buyers coming back um, to us, um, I thought this was a great opportunity to showcase some of these homes. So the price ranges um, are 434000 up to 560000 And this is a newer home built in 2017. So about three bedrooms, four bedrooms, you guys. Um, we're going to spotlight three homes today. And I thought we'd go from, you know, low to mid 400s, mid to higher. And then this is a two-story home, um, quite large. Yeah. I was going to so, say it's big. I know. I know. So let's check this out. You guys, let me get to the detail real quick. So this home is a four bed, three bathroom, 1676 square feet built in 2005. And it's on a corner lot. So again, it's got an open floor plan. Let's get to these photos. Corner lot is cool too. You don't have neighbors on the sides, kind of nice. 
It is. Um, two car garage, again, fireplace, um, tile flooring throughout the home, that neutral paint. You've got, um, again, maple, maple, maple. What's maple? Who's maple today? <laughs> maple cabinets. <laughs> A nice island, just again, you know, something you can kind of put it, your own stamp onto it, make it your own. Um, but I thought it was a great, great opportunity for, you know, a new starter home for a family. Um, yeah, it's just, I thought it was wonderful just to showcase this. And again, being on a corner lot, you guys, again, with the shade trees, they've got a covered patio. I'm getting there. <laughs> Little turf area. You could put some, you know, outdoor patio furniture here. Um, you know, your own little Ramada. <laughs> yeah. And that turf is nice too. You don't have to care for it, which is great. And it's perfect for the dogs, you know? Yeah. And again, corner lot, here's your view. No one's behind you. Yeah. It's nice. So how nice is that? Single level. Awesome. Single level. Exactly. And with four bedrooms, you know, if you work from home, you know, have kids, this would be a great home for you to check out. Um, and then this next one listed at 475 on 69th Drive, you guys. Um, again, it's a four bedroom, two bathroom, and it is on a third of an acre. Great size house and great size lot. Wow. Right? Two car garage, um, 1918 on your square footage, built in 2006. And let's check out these wonderful photos. So it looks like RV gate. Um, let's see, beautiful kitchen. You've got your tile. Um, yeah. All tile looks like, which is so nice when you have pets and kids. Oh, so nice. All tile. I know. <laughs> I know you get it. Kate. You have pets. We have pets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. and then there's, looks like LVP in there. In yeah. the bedroom. Yep. Again, really, really nice touch to that. Your bathroom, your ceiling fans in every bedroom. There's your kids' room. Double sinks, which is always nice. <laughs> Absolutely. And here's your backyard. Wow, it's huge. Extended it's covered patio, too. Yep. So extended covered patio. Don't know if the swing set conveys. We'd have Favorite to find out. extension. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are those goats? <laughs> what? Um, what, what is that? <laughs> I don't know if the HOA allows that. I'm just saying. <laughs> there is an HOA. Hold on. I can't see what that is. <laughs> it looks goat like. Let, let me find out. The HOA is $60 on a monthly basis. <laughs> um, it doesn't say there are. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. Today. Barnyard animals. <laughs> may not be included here. There is a bonus RV gate for your toys, but I don't know if the code and that's included. My goodness. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see. No. Um, <laughs> and then the last one to showcase here, uh, Valencia listed at 539.999 um, is a, a lot of nines. Or a lot of nines. There's something about nines though, right? Um, I don't know. At Walmart, <laughs> not necessarily in real estate, but okay. Oh gosh. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom, 3147 square feet. So this is a quite a large home, but I thought, you know, two story. Um, let's talk about it. Um, it's a three car garage. So we I figure, you know, That's if nice. you, it is nice. If you have three cars, great, or extra toys, extra storage. That's always always nice. Definitely. Um, or your kid is about to get their license, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 100% or motorcycles, whatever. Um, yeah. Bikes. Um, yeah. So this is two story. It's got a den. Oh, beautiful. And I know vaulted ceilings. And I just love that entryway, that little like catwalk across. Yeah. Here's that's your kitchen. Um, stainless steel appliances, granite countertop, countertops. Um, there's your Eden Island again, really spacious, lots of cabinets. You, yeah. I was going to say there's a ton of cabinets in there. Yeah. Cute little fireplace right there on those cozy Arizona winter nights. <laughs> They're too cold for me. 
Matt's <laughs> like, we got to move to the equator. I don't know what's going to be warm enough for you. <laughs> yeah, you do need to move to the equator. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And here's your den, um, office space, um, flex area for you to create whatever you'd like up there. Get really nice, pretty, oh, views. pretty views. I know. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. Right from your upstairs windows too. Nice. Yep. Big, big bathroom Again, double sinks. They've got this area with a little desk. That's Again, nice. Great. Home office. Like who's not home officing these days, you know? I know. I feel like everybody has some kind of ability to work from home, even if it's a couple of days a week now, which is great. Or a side gig or whatever, you know? Exactly. Exactly. But look at this yard. It's huge. Gorgeous. So those are our homes that I wanted to spotlight for you guys for, for resale and schools in the neighborhood. You have a couple different elementary and junior high Schools, you have Vista Del Sur, Sur, excuse me, Accelerated Elementary and Junior High, Levine Elementary and Junior High, Desert Mountains Elementary and Junior High, and then you have two high schools, Betty Fairfax High School and Cesar Chavez High School as well. Awesome. So There's a lot of schools. Yeah, there is. And then let's also talk about, you also have a lot of amenities in this area. Um, we talked about the HOA real quick, you guys, $60 a month. If you have any questions, visit levinemeadowshoa.com for anything and everything um, involving the HOA in, that, in this neighborhood. Um, parks, you are very close to South Mountain Park and Preserve, which I know is in your back neighborhood, lady. <laughs> Watch out for rattlesnakes. It's season. <laughs> hmm. Did you have something like that in your yard yesterday? No. <laughs> Not me. Um, so yes, you guys, phoenix.gov um, at parks, check everything out. But again, tons of trails. Like always, I will post our um, in the show notes the uh, trail map for you. So it's easy for you to find. And then Cesar Chavez Community Park um, and Community Center, they are building a whole new uh, community center that is scheduled to be completed. It says um, late early spring, or sorry, late spring, early summer of this year, 2022. Oh, no kidding. Um, yeah, so they have a great little video about the groundbreaking. So if you have some time, I'll post that as well. So it's really great information. Um, the park is, is spectacular, um, very family friendly, lots to do, and they're just adding to it. Um, and then you have the Gila River Resort and Casino that is not far from here as well. So they have shows, nightlife, entertainment, of course, gaming. If that's something that you're into, check out playathila.com. And then there is all kinds of development going on. And I wanted to spotlight, you have shopping that's coming to this area right um, east of the 202 and baseline. So you have Sprouts, um, EOS Fitness is coming there, Harkins Theater, Michaels, TJ Maxx. So again, this area is developing and it's developing quickly. Yeah. All the good stuff too. Look at that. You wouldn't even have to leave your corner. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I'll go to the gym. I'll go to Sprouts. I'll go shopping. Starbucks and- is there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on my way back home. <laughs> yeah. uh, so again, um, loopnet.com is where I found this information. You guys I'll also post that so you can keep up with all the development that's happening in the neighborhood. You also have a golf course. A Gia golf course. A Gia stands for Eagle, which I thought was really cool. It's an Eagle. The logo's cool. Isn't that isn't that a neat logo? Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's Spanish for Eagle. Didn't know that. Um, and that's my favorite animal. So now I know. Ooh, that's your spirit animal. <laughs> that <all> eagle. <laughs> um, and actually something coming up that you'll find interesting too, Katie. Um, this is an 18 hole championship golf course, you guys designed by Gary Panks. Um, so check that out at golfarizona.com. If golfing is something that you are into, this area has a lot of that. Um, Phoenix International Raceway is 11 miles from here. So you can zip on out and check out the raceway. Um, apparently we got something going on in 118 days here in November. <laughs> apparently so it's important. Um, wow. You can camp there. Didn't know that. I know. I didn't know that either. 
So phoenixraceway.com. So check it out, you guys. Just again, something different. Um, I don't know if there's a waiting list. We can, uh, you guys can check all this out. But, but yeah, those people are really it's, happy. It's popular <laughs> stuff. I used to be into racing way, way, way like 25 years ago. Um, and it's so much fun. It really is to go and watch the races. I used to love it. Yeah. And again, it's just something different, you know, and it's nice that we have so many different sporting options here in the Valley, here in the Valley in general, but close to this neighborhood too. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Um, Trey's Rio's wetlands. I knew nothing about this. Um, but you only learned about it not too long ago. Honestly, I've lived here for like 20 years and I just heard about it in the last little bit and check this little guy out, Katie. So the smallest falcon, excuse me, falcon in North America resides here. Aww. So it's 700 acres and there it's really geared around restoring vital wetlands and the riparian habitat, um, which is, I think, spectacular. So again, just something different, you guys in Levine. Um, it's not far. Check it out. Um, and then we have a really great business and I'd like to thank our new build babe, Megan. Megan, for, shout out. I know. Thank you, Megan, for introducing us to Amadio. Am I pronouncing that right? Yes. Amadio Ranch. And it is a husband and wife, 100% farm and fresh handmade jams and pickles, raw hungry, honey. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> um, pies and cakes and fruits and vegetables. So AmadioRanch.com. Again, I know Katie, we love to support local. You guys definitely go. Megan says she makes the trek and it's not that far from Awatuki to- Not now pies. that we have the 202. I know. Um, yeah, so definitely check them out, you guys. But that is all things Levine Meadows. I love it. Yes. Well, thank you, yeah. reporter Dana, for yet again, a very informative rundown of <laughs> this neighborhood. All right, you guys, if you are interested in checking out homes in this neighborhood or homes across the valley, we are your girls. Just give us a holler. You can comment here on the video. You can hop over to any of our social media platforms. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Our handle is at Team Eva Wazy. Just shoot us a message and just say, hey, and then we'll hey. respond. <laughs> awesome, you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next Monday.